Hello everybody, today is June uh, 27th. We are looking at a pretty uh, active weather pattern right now. We have some very interesting things in the weather world to inform you of, so let's get right started. The forecast memo, a low pressure system stuck in northern New England, and the reason for that is that it just won't move. So basically, every afternoon, it sort of puts down its tentacles of moisture into southern New England and the northern mid-Atlantic. If you get enough heat and instability, as we have been, you'll see afternoon thunderstorms every day. So pretty much every day until this low pressure system moves out, there will be scattered afternoon thunderstorms. Not really a planned ruiner, and not really even a big deal. Unless we look at a setup like Friday. We're going to talk about Friday later. Afternoon thunderstorms tomorrow, as you'd expect. A severe weather threat on Friday. The weekend will be hot and sunny. Two beach days. Current temperatures out there, we're in the 70s and 80s on the east coast. Thursday, I think we'll make it well into the 90s. Oops. Well into the 90s along most of the East Coast. Uh, we'll be pushing 90 in most of southern New England. Probably going to be in the 80s. Friday we come to the severe weather threat. We're talking about isolated tornadoes anywhere in red. Hail could be up to 1 or 2 inches in diameter. 60 mile an hour when you got some of these strong storms. Now let's just talk about some of the parameters that we're looking at for this particular event. This is the uh, 18Z nail. The very latest model we have with information on it. Let's talk. Let's take a look at the lifted index. Now, lifted index is an indice which tells you how unstable the atmosphere is. If the lifted index is more than negative five, it's unstable enough for some thunderstorms. If it's more than minus eight, there's a substantial severe weather threat. Well, we have widespread minus nine to minus twelve along the east coast as we make our way out to Friday. That's certainly enough to, for widespread severe weather. The CAPE is actually uh, another indice. Anytime it's over 1,500, that's enough for some severe weather. 2,500 is for widespread severe storms. It's actually three to 4,000 joules per kilogram. So this is obviously looking like a very unstable day. So you say we have great thunderstorm potential for Friday. How about tornadoes? Unfortunately, I don't really think we're going to be escaping the tornado threat. Because let's take a look at the EHI which is storm relative helicity and what is it mixed with? It was helicity and I think something else, I'm not quite sure what. But basically the E high is if it's between if it's less than one, there's some threat. If it's one to two, there's a pretty substantial tornado threat. If it's greater than two, you have to be worried about a potential tornado outbreak. This is by late morning. You notice that the primarial, 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 uh, the area with the most EI is over eastern New England, where it's two to three. That's enough for, you know, some tornadoes. So that's why I'm mostly putting my focus on eastern New England for the tornado threat. So if you hear tornadoes, it'll probably be in eastern New England. The helicity, just for the heck of it, will be about. It'll be that will be mostly focused eastern New England as well. It'll be about uh, 150 to 250. That's enough to cause some spinning in the atmosphere. The bulk shear is looking like it's going to be about 40 to 60 knots. So with all that in mind, that is our threat for Friday. Stay tuned to Stormtopia.com. If the event continues to shape up, I may easily be doing a live stream on Friday. Now. That is it for now. A great beach day, great beach day, these great beach days this weekend. Have a good day, folks.